I saw that Girl Writes What did a video on an article written by a feminist about how the friend zone is bullshit. A few minutes into this video, I realized, hey, I would like to respond to this article myself. So I stopped watching the video because if I kept watching the video and she covered all the points I want to cover, then I wouldn't make a video. And I do want to make a video. I'll watch it later. Anyway, because I'm profoundly lazy, I'm just going to go ahead and let Girl Writes What read this article out loud for you, and then I'll respond to that. The reason the friend zone gives me such a bad taste in my mouth is women are under no obligation to return romantic feelings for a man, and the existence of a friend zone suggests otherwise. Well, somebody's just going to have to walk me through how the existence of a friend zone means that women are obligated to have sex with anybody. I'm not sure if the writer of the article realizes this, but humans, we humans as a species, we kind of like to put labels on shit. So, the existence of a friend zone is just us labeling something. It'd sort of, sort of be like me saying, In bowling, the pins are under no obligation to be hit by the ball, but the existence of a gutter ball would suggest otherwise. No, it's just the word for not hitting the pins. Or, in the case of the friend zone, not hitting that. A man claiming to be friend-zoned by a girl suggests that the only reason he was nice to her in the first place was for the potential of sex. And once she makes it clear that she isn't interested in having sex with him, he gets the second place trophy of her dumb friendship. Here's where I kind of agree with the feminist that guys should not complain about being put in the friend zone because really, uh, let's say you have some romantic interest in a woman, you know, yeah try to impress her or whatever, she says, oh, you're just a great friend. Well, you're like, ah, that wasn't what I was going for. Three billion other women I can go ahead and try. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't try to be friends with women. What I'm saying is that if you're a guy and you have these romantic or sexual feelings towards a woman and then she rejects you, in almost every case, she will then be a really shitty friend. Because, call me crazy, I think that a friendship is about uh, equality, respect, uh, an equal amount of give and take, where I've, I've told you about the pathetic friend syndrome. If you have pathetic friend syndrome, the relationship is a lot more like dog and master, you know? The, the guy just does tricks, and you'll get a pat on the head occasionally. Uh, he's not really the one in charge. He's not really... <laughs> I'm just saying, women make shitty friends if you want to have sex with them. That's... Men who say they were friend-zoned are often the same nice guys who think that if they had tried harder, they could have won her over. In actuality, pathetic friends, you were probably trying way too hard, and that's why you didn't win her over. Word of advice. These men view women as pretty sparkly prizes with vaginas. I gotta tell you, feminists have a real knack for taking men's feelings, desires, yearnings, and then just making it look like the ugliest shit imaginable. It really takes talent to do that. Men can win one of their own if they are just patient and nice enough to and avoid the friend zone. Becoming friends with a girl is what men get after they fail at that. It's their consolation prize. It's not even a consolation prize because every pathetic friend believes that one day the object of his affection will realize just how wonderful he is and they'll be together. I've mentioned this before and of course it never happens, although occasionally a pathetic friend will be graced with a bout of pity sex whenever the girl he's attracted to has had a rough go at life and just needs a nice e ego boost. But, you know, in the stock market there's a little thing on stocks called the price to earning ratio and the price to earning ratio on that pity sex, I would say, is far too high for any sane person to undertake, especially when you consider that the friendship is usually pretty one-sided, as in the man is the bitch, and the woman's just like, oh, please me, please me, and um, perhaps I will sprinkle some crumbs of approval your way. The fact that the idea of a friend zone exists makes it quite apparent that people still think that a woman cannot be independent without a man. To you, she's merely a machine to buy commodities for, dinners, gifts, 
uh, to date, holding hands, extensive PDA equals your possession, and to have sex with the ultimate goal. Oh yes, we have on the one hand the chump who's throwing away his hard-earned money, time, emotions, resources on a woman who knows well and good that she's taking more than giving, but she knows that the guy's a chump and he has feelings for her, so and it's free shit, so hey, why not? But oh no, no, it, it's the guy that's the bad guy. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. And the last part, the ultimate goal to have sex with. One thing that feminists routinely fail to account for is that men aren't just like these walking rape machines who care only about sex. It's been a long time since I've had romantic feelings, but I am a broken husk of a human being. I remember when I was a young man, and, you know, I remember what it was like to... I don't know, have a crush on a girl. And it wasn't just about sex. Although sex did show that she would that she cares about you most, it's really more of an emotional thing. Of course, because guys don't gas on about their emotions all the live long day, I suppose it might be understandable why a feminist wouldn't realize this. Also they hate men, and that's another reason they might not realize that. But anyway, yeah, it's not all about sex. It's about love. Oh. If you were truly a nice guy, then you wouldn't care about taking time away from your selfish needs to make someone else happy. You wouldn't complain about wasting your time on a girl because she didn't return the same romantic feelings back. Well, okay, that can be translated as, if you were a truly nice guy, you would take the time away from your selfish needs and devote them without any sort of compensation to somebody else's selfish needs. But the next part I agree with. Don't waste time complaining about it. As with anything in life, uh, you know, you take your chances. You, you spend some time trying to win a girl over, it doesn't work out. Well, you knew that that was a risk going in. Now, at this point, you can cut your losses. And I'm not saying just stop talking to her, but you can start treating her as a friend. And 99 times out of 100, she will then stop dealing with you because she expects you to be her bitch and then you're just trying to be her friend which is all about equals but, but my point is I agree with the feminists there's no point in complaining friendship is a wonderful gift and the fact that men expect to basically get pity sex in return for their oh so affectionate feeling is just gross I'm glad that this feminist wrote this article and I hope that every guy reads it because I believe in equality I think that we as human beings, uh, we should have equal rights and equal responsibilities. And so long as there are these chumps going around just supporting women for crumbs of affection, thinking they're some, someday going to have that love that they feel returned, well, those women, they're not exactly pulling their own weight in life. And that's not good for him, that's not good for her, it's not good for anybody. And if men read this article, they will realize just how unappreciated they are as such a pathetic friend. This will help stimulate equality. So, yay, go feminist. The truth is, women are allowed to say no. If your feelings aren't returned and your heart happens to be hanging around in your large intestine, I'm a little sorry that you were a jerk. Whoa, 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 whoa. Aren't women supposed to be the ones that are all, like, empathetic and compassionate and shit? I wouldn't say that shit to someone, and I'm a total fucking asshole. I hope you're going to change your ways, and that you'll be able to treat the next girl you meet with respect. But the next time I see you complain about getting friend-zoned, I hope she rips out something other than your heart. See, here's where I disagree with her. What she's essentially saying is... It's not that we mind you following women around like lovesick little puppies doing shit for them, basically being their willing slaves. No, 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 that's fine. But how dare you complain about it? You are a man. It is your job to make women happy. Which is kind of funny if you think about it. I mean, it's not really funny, but it's, you know, a little bit funny. It's not enough that there's all of these chumps just like doing this stuff for women because they 
they have feelings that, that are being manipulated, but those men have the audacity to be displeased with that. Although, in a sense, like I said, I agree with, hey man, if you don't like it, don't do it. <laughs>